another edition of Williams Guide to Mathematics. We are taking a look at the topic latitude and longitude. Actually, this is not the first lesson on that. We already had a lesson on latitude and longitude. If you are here to get the lesson, subscribe to the YouTube channel Williams Guide to Mathematics. Get go through the videos available on this channel. You will get to see the lesson one of the topic latitude and longitude. In that lesson, we talked about the X, we talked about the features of the lines of latitude and longitude, and lastly, we talked about locating position on the globe. In this lesson, what do we have to talk about? I will take a review of those features again, of the lines of latitude and longitude, to have a better understanding of this particular lesson. And after that, we analyze the lines of latitude and longitude. We analyze those lines of latitude and longitude. And finally, we learn how to deduce angular difference. We learn how to deduce angular difference. analyzing the lines of latitude and longitude. Now, what we want to do is short activity. We want to state with the positions we are given, we have two positions, we are going to consider two positions, first position and second position. We want to consider between these two positions, what do we have in common? Do we have the latitude to be common? Do we have the longitude to be common? Or Probably we have none of them to be common. We'll be looking at three examples. Let's take a look at the first example. I have a position E, 10 degree north and 50 degrees west. Again, 10 degree north, 50 degrees west. Another position F, 10 degree north and 50 degrees east. 10 degree north and 50 degrees east. If I look at the position E and position F, they both have 10 degree north. They both have 10 degree north and remember i said the lines of longitude they are represented using east or west while the lines of latitude are represented using north or south so since i have a 10 degree north my representation is north definitely the 10 degree north is the line of latitude which is common to the position e and f so i can say the common thing we have for position e and f is the latitude we have 30 degrees south for position e g and 40 degrees east and also for position h we have 20 degrees south and 40 degrees west fine position g we have 40 position h we also have 40 but g is 40 degrees east y h is 40 degrees west the two of them are not exactly the same thing 40 degrees east 40 degrees west they are not exactly the same thing they are two different things and the other one which is 30 degrees south and 20 degrees south they are not also exactly the same thing so when we look at g and h again we get to realize that they don't have anything in common the third one is k the third example we are citing is k we have 30 degrees south and 50 degrees east for k and we have 30 degrees north and 50 degrees east for L. Look, taking a good look at the two of them, the 50 degrees east is common to K and L. 50 degrees east. When you talk about representation on the east, we are talking about lines of longitude. So I can tell you here that what is common to K and L, the two position K and L, is 50 degrees east, which happens to be the line of longitude. Now, the last thing for this lesson, we are taking a look at what is called angular difference. Angular difference. Let me also tell you that angular difference is also called angular distance. Remember, angular distance, not just distance, angular distance. Now, how do we get angular difference or angular distance? Before we can get our angular difference or angular distance, we need to analyze the position 
of two points, which I have just explained how to analyze the position of two points. The major thing is we need to first determine what is common. Is it the latitude that is common or the longitude? So we need to come up with the common latitude or longitude. Should in case we have none of them to be common, we may not be able to solve problem involving that. We have to have a common latitude and or common longitude, meaning one of the two must be the same. The other one which is uncommon, I mean after getting the latitude or the longitude to be common, the other one that is not common will be used to determine our angular difference or angular distance. What I'm saying is that if we have two points and in the two points we have a common latitude, what we use to get our angular difference would be the longitude. Similarly, if we have a common longitude, what we use to get our angular difference will be the what? Will be the latitude. Now, how do we deduce the angular difference? We deduce angular difference between north and south. They go together or north, north or south, south. Again, north, south or north, north or south, south. Another one is we can also deduce between east, west or east, east or west, west. The thing is that north and south go together. East and west also go together. We can have the same, that is, you can have north, north, you can have south, south, you can have east, east, you can have west, west. But always remember that we cannot compare north and east, for example. We can't compare north and west. It has to be north and south. It also has to be east or west. And finally, let me put it to you that angular difference or angular distance is represented or denoted using theta. So in this lesson, Anytime we talk about theta, we are referring to angular distance. So how do we calculate this angular distance? It is very, very simple. Let me remind you of this common saying that on light poles attract, light poles repel. Again, on light poles attract, light poles repel. Let me start with the light poles. Light poles in this case is more or less like saying the same position. That is, we can talk about not not. We can talk about east east, we can talk about west west, and we can talk about south south. If we have any of these four cases, we subtract. Remember, we said light poles repel. We subtract, repel, subtract. So if I have north north, I will subtract. If I have east east, I will subtract. If I have west west, I will subtract. If I have south south, I will subtract. Meaning, if we have the same position, on the globe, we subtract the angles. The other one is on light poles. For on light poles, when we have different positions, remember I said we can only compare north and south. We can also compare east and west. We can't compare north and east, north and west. North and south goes together, Why east and west also goes together. Now, if I have north and south to compare, unlike the attract, so what we do when we have different positions, is that we add. So if I have angles involving north and south, I will add the two angles together. If I have angles involving east and west, I will also add the two angles together. example we have Alexandria in Egypt and we have Kigali in Rwanda now Alexander in Egypt is 31 degree north 30 degrees east while Kigali in Rwanda is 12 degrees south 30 degrees east the first thing that will make getting our angular difference or angular distance possible is that we must either have a common latitude or a common longitude take a look at these positions again what do you notice? You notice that we have 30 degrees east in Alexandra and 30 degrees east also in Kigali. So that means there's something common. What is that thing that is common? That is a common longitude. 
So we have a common longitude of 30 degrees east. Now we keep that aside. What we use for our angular distance or angular difference is what is uncommon. So what do we have to be uncommon? We have 31 degrees north and 12 degrees south. Now in that case, we have north and south. Remember I told you when we have different positions, we do what we add, unlike attract. So we have north and south. So to get our angular difference, which is theta, we do 31 plus 12. Remember we have, that is 43 degrees. So meaning that the value of theta is 43 degrees east. Kigali in Rwanda, 12 degrees south and 30 degrees east. And we have Peter Marisburg in South Africa, which is 12 degrees south and 65 degrees east. Remember I told you, the first thing we need to do is to determine which of the two positions we have. The positions in the two, we have to determine which, to become, which is common. Now we have 12 degrees south in Kigali and 12 degrees south in Peter Marisburg. Meaning, we are taking that to be the common, common, common put, common latitude or longitude. Which one is it? South. South is a representation of latitude. Meaning, our 12 degrees south is giving us a common latitude. So we put that aside. We use the other values to get our angular difference. Now, the other values we have are 30 degrees east and 65 degrees east. 30 degrees east and 65 degrees east. We have east, east, meaning we have the same position. We said for same position, we do what? We subtract. So to get our angular difference, which is theta, it will be 65 minus 30. And 65 minus 30 is 35 degrees. So we have our theta to be 35 degrees. final example and this final example looks more like an application question it's talking of talking about a plane from an airport in Malawi you know 16 degrees south that's the position of the airport and 35 degrees east now the plane flies west by 50 degrees west by 50 degrees now I have south 16 i have east 35 my west direction my westward direction the question is which of these two i mean the south and the east will it affect if my plane is going westward that means from my east to my west it means it is a lateral movement and i told you lateral is for longitude by the way we talked we said movement the the latitude runs from east to west so if my plane is moving towards the western side i'm going to be considering the positive the, the, the value for the east the moving westward has nothing to do with south so i'm considering the value for the east now the value for the east is 35 degrees east remember we also have 16 degrees south meaning that my 16 degrees south will not change and what is my 16 degrees south? That is a line of latitude. So my 16 degrees south, which is the line of latitude, remains unchanged. But my longitude is affected. It's moving westward. So moving westward now is 35 degrees. It's moving in the westward direction and initially is on the eastern part. Meaning it is moving in an opposite direction. Opposite signifies negative. So I can do 35 
minus 50 that will give minus 15. now the minus there indicates that the plane has actually changed position initially it was on the eastern part so if it's changing position it will have to change to what is complementary or what is the opposite of east which is what west so i have a minus 15 degrees as my result after subtracting 35 and 50 so what will be the position of the plane the plane will be on 15 degrees but no longer on the eastern part but on the western part so i can conclude that my the position of my plane is 15 degrees west so talking about the latitude and the longitude of the plane now we are saying that the plane remains on 16 degrees south for the latitude but now on 15 degrees west so far so good we've come to the end of another lesson on latitude and longitude we try reviewing the features of the lines of longitude and latitude we try analyzing the lines of latitude and longitude and finally we talked about how to deduce angular difference we have other lessons on latitude and longitude this is not the end to latitude and longitude we still have some lessons to talk about problems involving latitude and longitude it is important to subscribe to the youtube channel william's guide to mathematics so that we will be informed we will get a notification when there's a video concerning latitude and longitude mind you the, the channel is for mathematics it, it has to do with virtually everything on mathematics you'll be looking at there are other videos on the channel and this is the more reason why we also need to do it we need to subscribe to the youtube channel see you very soon for our next lesson on latitude and